These 13 exercises will help you to increase your circulation. We're gonna start out with four seated and then go to nine standing. Welcome back to Live Free TV. My name is Sarah, Live Free Warrior. In this exercise sequence, we're gonna do different variations and exercises to increase your circulation, which is great for overall health, well-being, a good glow, and it can prevent blood clots in the legs, especially from traveling. To get started, you will be seated, so you can do these seated in any kind of chair or even in your hotel room, or if you're in the um, airport, wherever you might be, or even your desk. So to get started, we're gonna do some ankle lifts. And as you press down into the feet, you're lifting the heels up. And you're just going up and up and down, up and down, up and down. And that's it. So as you squeeze and contract the calves, right, you're telling the muscles to pump blood through there. So that's what we're doing here. And then reverse that. You're going to the heels and then toes down, heels. Now you stretch that and again, you're just moving the blood through the body. Okay, the next one's kind of fun and it's toe wiggles. So you're gonna move the toes around. However, that feels good for you. It can be with the ankles too, or you're just moving the toes. So try and spread them apart, play around. I mean, when's the last time? See, here's a trick. Try and move the toes apart without your hands moving too. <laughs> it's kind of a natural instinct. But whatever you're doing with the feet, and you're just really moving them around. And then from there, we do toe taps. So you just tap it on the floor. Tap, 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 tap. And as you move into the legs, so you have your feet down. This is number four. And then extend the leg out in front and down. And down. Now we're moving the blood through the quads especially. Try to keep the knees in line and just extend the leg. You feel the quads contract as you do this. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. So we're gonna remove the chair. And here we are. We're actually going into squats. So you come up and down, up and down. You don't have to jump in these. This isn't about cardio. It's about getting the blood moving through the body and just moving your body in addition to breathing is gonna do just that. So as you're squatting, you have, your spine is about in line with the same direction as your shin. So you can think of it that way. And as you lift up, you squeeze the glutes Squat, squeeze, down. Extend. So right now we're working a lot of the legs. And from here, you can still stay standing. You're gonna bring the knees in towards your chest. Now, if this is difficult to do, just lifting the leg, you can also use your hands really just about getting the knees in towards the chest. These you can do standing anywhere. I do these sometimes even standing at the gate waiting for the flight throughout the day. Four, three, two, Now again, from standing, we're gonna lift up the heels. So as you press down through the balls of the feet, lift the heels up. And you really wanna ground down through the balls of the feet to lift and elevate. So it's kind of like what we did seated before, but now we're standing. Don't worry about falling in this. Maybe you find your own rhythm. You don't wanna be rocking, you wanna have control. So you really feel the muscles activating. Let's do three, 
two, one. Now we're gonna do a little bit of yoga. This little yoga sequence here, if you're newer to yoga, just call it stretch. And I'm gonna talk you through a variation that you can do too. So in a downward facing dog, palms are down, have a bend in your knees and lift your tailbone to the sky. You wanna feel your ears by your upper arm bones. If you can, extend the legs. If not, keep a bend in the knees and that's okay. And start to pedal the heels out. So this really helps the back of the legs start to open. I'm gonna breathe in these. And we're gonna come into a triangle. So step the right foot between the hands, drop the back heel down. And as you extend both of your legs, take your right hand to your right shin, and then extend your left arm up towards the sky. If there's more flexibility for you, you can also place your hand down towards the floor, but it's really not that big of a deal. We're looking at opening up the front leg, the inner hip, breathe. Two, and one. We're gonna come into a lunge. So two options in this one. You can have the back knee down towards the floor or the mat, or that leg can be lifted, either one. And then either hands can stay at the knee too, or you reach them up overhead. Three, two, and one. Then we get to do all that on the other side. We're gonna make it easy and just switch sides. So now you have the left foot forward, the right heel's down, we're doing triangle on the left side. Again, hand can be to the shin, right arm up. No pressure to put the hand to the floor, but that's an option. Three, three, two. And come in two, lunge on the left side. And the option, you can take that back knee down. Maybe it's a great place to start too. So you can be here in your low lunge or tuck the back toes under, lift the knee away from the floor and reach the arms up overhead. And then breathe. Five, four, two, three. The right hip move forward, left hip back. And one. Let's go back to the front, find a downward facing dog. As we move on to the next pose. The right foot back, you're in a downward facing dog. Now we're gonna work our way onto our back. So you're actually gonna step the feet forward any graceful way you wanna do this. Lower your way onto your back. And we're setting up in a bridge pose. Bridge pose or glute lift the one as you lay all the way down towards the back of your spine. Lift the hips away from the floor. So you're moving a lot of the blood flow back down towards the heart and the body. Rooting through the feet. Make sure your toes aren't popping up. You want to press those down. Gazes up towards the ceiling. And lower all the way back down. Let's do that one more time. Elevate the hips. Maybe this time work the shoulders under a little bit more. Keep breathing, three, two, and one. Now this next one happens to be one of my favorites uh, after flying for many reasons, but you're going to extend the feet up towards the sky. If that is uh, too much on the hamstrings, keep a soft bend in the knees. But you're gonna extend the feet up towards the ceiling either way and then all the blood from the legs going back down to the upper body. If it helps um, to visualize, you can even do what I'm doing and run the hands down the side of the legs. This one, no matter what I recommend, really helping to help prevent against blood clots, um, any vein problems, uh, pains in the legs,
the massage. You can stay here as long as you like. We're just gonna linger for another few seconds. And then move into reclining pigeon pose. These last three we're doing from a reclining position as well. With a bend in the knees, cross your right ankle over your left knee. And then reach your hands through that space. Grab the back of your left thigh. Breathe. You can also draw the leg in. Again, this one you can do up against the wall or just let that foot hang. Oh, it feels so good in the hip. And I love doing these after running too. My run, walk, and then switch sides. I always find my left side definitely feels this more. <laughs> now we kind of started this last one before. It's a little bit of self massage um, from a reclining position or we were before with the legs up. I'm going to do a cross of the, like we did in pigeon and you just kind of self massage and you can rub out the balls of your feet. I'm going to go down the middle here. You have all plantar fascia here. So just run your thumb down the, the length of your foot and you can kind of do that here with the back of your leg. You just give like little squeezes. And you can do that as well on the quad. And we'll do it on the other side. So kind of same thing, running the thumb down the sole of the foot. As you can see here. Good thing I cleaned my feet today. And then squeeze the back of the calf. <laughs> Quad a nice squeeze. You can also do these seated too. All right, and the last one, diaphragmic breathing. So your diaphragm is actually the upper part of your chest. I'm gonna sit up so you can see. Your diaphragm runs underneath where your lungs are. Okay, so we're actually gonna access the upper part of your chest when you're breathing. We're gonna do that from a reclining position just because it feels a little bit easier and it helps to focus the mind. So now we know where we're going from your back. Think of lifting your chest when you're breathing. Oftentimes we're breathing in the belly and that can feel really natural for us. Instead, we're gonna breathe into the chest. And keep doing that. So as you inhale, you're feeling like you're lifting the chest up without moving the belly too much. You can even place your hands on your belly as a nice little reminder to breathe from the chest. One more deep breath in. Yeah, the knees in, going back up to seated. So there are 13 exercises you can do to increase your circulation. I hope those were helpful. My legs feel pretty good after that one. <laughs> I do a lot of these after flying. Um, they also help for the look in my skin, um, glow, hydration, and having proper blood flow throughout the body. My name is Sarah Kirikoni, Live Free Warrior. Subscribe to this channel, Live Free TV. Follow me over on Instagram for daily inspiration for healthy, conscious, creative living. And I look forward to seeing you again soon here on the mat. If you have any um, requests for videos that you want to see too, add that to the comments below. See you soon.